Hi, everybody, and welcome to Christ Our Light Scripture and Reflection with Deacon Mark and Mary Beth Barter. Hi. Welcome. Today is Wednesday, March 10th, 2021. Let's all begin with prayer. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that schooled through Lenten observance and nourished by your word, through holy restraint, we may be devoted to you with all our heart and be forever united in prayer. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, Now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord my God has commanded me, that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations who will hear of all these statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law which I am setting before you today? However, take care and be earnestly on your guard not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your memory as long as you live but teach them to your children and to your children's children. The word of the Lord. The response, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He sends forth his command to the earth swiftly runs his word. He spreads snow like wool, frost he strews like ashes. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Alleluia, alleluia. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do, do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. My friends, at first, Moses' admonition of the Israelites in today's first reading seems at odd to us in our modern-day American Catholic Church. We pray to one God, the God who is Father and Creator of all. But if we stop and think about it, Moses' question raises an important issue for us to struggle with this Lent. If we define a God as some entity that we worship, that we give our all to, that is at the center of our decision-making and values, then stop for a moment and consider, to what gods do we sacrifice our time at the expense of our families, especially our children? To what gods do we offer our offerings of talent and treasure when so many are hungry and needy, so many are lost and forgotten? To what gods do we sacrifice our votes and advocacy 
putting self-interest before common good, placing our economic interests before the struggling poor, and ignoring our country's economic and political responsibilities to the world community of nations and their peoples. What gods have we effectively replaced with God? The God who breathed life into us, the God who sustains us through the wonders of creation, the God who takes human form in the person of Jesus in order that we might know love and peace that is centered at his very being. The God who dwells in our midst, whose spirit compels us to work in generosity and kindness and for justice. Not such a strange question, is it? Let us pray. O God, make us a nation and a community worthy to call you Father. Let your wisdom illuminate our minds and intellect that we may realize your hope for the world redeemed in your justice and mercy through your Son's death and resurrection. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.